I'm out on the river. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's very, very bright conditions. And it was freezing cold this morning as well. You know, around about zero. Um, I'm actually, uh, I've come out to play around with these. So they're the new uh, inline grub feeders. Now, I think these are gonna be absolutely magic for the tench once the tench starts to wake up. And in early season, I use a lot of naturals like maggots and worms for the tench. And I think these are gonna be absolutely amazing. Looking forward to trying them. But in actual fact today on the river, I thought I'd give them a go for the roach. What I've decided to do is start off with a short rig uh, just a little short rig that's just going to come off the grub feeder uh, just with a couple of maggots on. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm going to switch to a rig that actually uh, pops maggots up off the feeder. These new style of the grub feeders have got this little rubber clip at the top that you can clip your hook bait into and you can just pop some maggots up off the top. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try both of those methods now and hopefully, hopefully, we'll catch up with one of the really nice roach that are in this stretch of river. So there we are. I'll just quickly show you them. Some very nice dace there. All of these on the grub feeder. Uh, on little short rigs, I'm going to lengthen that to see if we can get a bigger one. Some lovely roach. Look, he's quite a nice one. Um, but yeah, we're hoping for bigger than that. And I'm going to make some changes to see if we can make that happen. Let's get these back. <laughs> What I've decided now to try, having gone for those short rigs, is just to get a little bit more separation between the maggots and the feeder. So I've put on a rig that's about a foot and a half long, so a bit longer than I normally probably would with an inline feeder like this. What's nice about these is they release the maggots really, really slowly, which I quite like that, especially when the fish aren't feeding that hard. So what will happen is that the maggots will slowly come out of the feeder uh, be pushed slightly downstream by the flow and then this longer hook length you know those maggots coming out of the feeder will eventually sort of like trickle down to where the hook bait is and hopefully we will catch this nice river roach. This is in! Oh. It is a good one. There we are. Look at that. That is a stunning roach. Lovely winter fish, caught on the inline feeder. Absolutely superb.